welcome back to Unknown Day of Vlogmas. This is the first of the videos that I'm pre-recording in case I have time to edit a daily vlog. So we're just gonna do a try to get ready with me, kind of looking back at the year of 2022 because I mean, it's December, you start thinking about what happened this year. Not really, I'm gonna say, oh, could I have done something better, but just like, how could things have been different? Because of course I always could have gone differently. Um, I think back and I'm like, this has been a really eventful year. And also I'm just thinking about things of like, I've got probably about 25 minutes to record because I am going to tour the Luxro distillery. So you can kind of guess what day it is that I'm filming this all on. So yeah, I'll just kind of start doing my makeup. We'll see how everything goes from there. So as you guys saw how the January started off, um, I tried to do vlogging kind of Again, I was in a rut. I seem to like uh, filming when I'm in a rut because it gives me an excuse to kind of try to work on myself. I'm like if other people are watching me and judging me, then I have to work on myself. I have to do better. Um, so yeah, January, I mostly spent it focusing on the fact that I was going to conferences. I was gonna be going to my first ever conference, um, which was TMS. And for those uh, for those who are not in the material science world, that is a huge international conference. Um, it's TMS stands for the Metals Mineral Materials Society or something like that. It's there are three M's in there actually, and if you look at the logo, you can guess where the three M's are. Um, but they have a huge conference um, every spring. Last year or twenty twenty two was held in Anaheim, which for those who are not familiar uh, with me at all, and I think I've mentioned it, but I don't know for sure. I am originally from Southern California and actually I was able to stay at home for it, um, in the, which was really convenient. Uh, also it was fun because my parents were actually able to sit in on my talk, which most kids can't, uh, don't have that opportunity. It felt really fun. I was also able to have my advisor meet my parents, him and the senior grad student. I also got to meet my academic great grandpa, uh, who was my advisor's advisor. He's now, he's was originally a professor at Northwestern, but now he's a professor at uh, Berkeley. Also, I was just using Maybelline concealer, what I always use, and from the Sultry palette, the uh, cream color, to just set my eyeshadow, which was fresh. I have huge pan in it. <laughs> Next, I'm going to work on, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Smoky uh, Holy Smokes Mattes, because I want kind of more of a cool toned look for the most part today. That's the vibe I'm going for. I also really need to clean my brushes, but I'll do that later. So the conference was, fun. I met people, kind of. Um, I was really shy for the most part. I also, uh, yeah, that was the big thing. I was really shy and I did present. Um, there was a lot of people there at my talk, um, which is kind of unusual because it was a Friday talk. Uh, or not Friday. It was a Thursday talk. Thursday was the last day of the conference and it was Thursday afternoon. However, they had kept a lot more people back. Um, a lot more invited talks were on those Thursdays also to try to keep people from staying. Not keep people from staying, keep people staying. Um, which was like interesting. But yeah, there was a lot of people only, and only about a third were from University of Kentucky. The rest were like random people who had walked in and it made me very nervous. Um, Cause I also had um, in the talk originally, this guy, Dan Miracle, a uh, Dr. Dan Miracle who's at, the Air Force Research Lab, he had been at that um, session earlier. He only stayed for the first talk um, and then left halfway through the second talk, uh, which ooh, ho, 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 I feel bad for the student that was presenting. And it's even worse because when I looked at who that student's advisor is, that advisor has worked explicitly with Dr. Miracle. And also that kid's advisor is like another really big name in the field where I was like, thank goodness I did not comprehend that at all or I would have been really freaked out <laughs> that's 
pretty much up until early March. And then in early, after I got back from the conference, uh, the first thing I focused on was uh, getting ready for my qualifying exam, which was March 31st. Uh, the qualifying exam and how our department runs it is a uh, you write a paper called a prospectus which recounts both what you have done um you provide a background and then what you are planning to do for your work it is um can be a really long paper depending i talked about it a lot in those weekly vlogs um mine ended up being about 66 pages but that is including title, table of contents, and um, citations. I had about three pages of citations in my, uh, for my prospectus. I, I did a lot of readings. And then after you do your qualifying exam, or not after you do your qualifying, you turn in your prospectus about two weeks before. I actually ended up turning mine in a little bit after that because my advisor had not read any of it beforehand and helped with the editing because we also had our ABET report coming through. So like that, he had to work on the accreditation stuff. So I ended up getting an extra couple of days, which was great because I was starting to go a little crazy uh, from all the stress. I don't know if that's gonna bear well for, not bear well, I don't know if that's gonna bode well for me when I actually have to get to my dissertation, but yeah, that was, not a fun time but i was able to have effectively a weekend to kind of catch my breath and then finish my editing because i was working all hours of the day trying to get it done coffee i was also just happy last night my friend and i ended up quickly running to kroger's and i was able to get milk yeah that was a fun one, although it was like, okay, initially when we were looking, because it was like 9.30 at night, I was like, okay, most of the Kroger's I think close at 10, and so it's like, we can't dilly-dally, and she's like, but I want a little, I'm like, nope, no. I've worked in a similar situation, and the people that dilly-dally were the, just made life longer. We went to one that was, didn't close until 11, so it was all fine. Um, so I'm putting in the Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop, that is the ColourPops plus the Muppets, they're Christmas, and it's yeah! Honestly, I love the Muppets. I think I mentioned this in one of the other videos where I was using one of the other Super Shock shadows from this uh, collection. A, I love Super Shocks. B, I love the Muppets. C, good colors. And this matches my pants, kind of. But I also love it whenever they do, like, on TikTok, a, comp a mashup between the Muppets and pretty much anything else. One of my favorite sounds on TikTok is the empty chairs and empty tables, but to the Muppets theme. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> but getting off track. But so I spent, I had finished my qualifying, or I finished my prospectus, uh, and we had not, I'd asked my advisor about this earlier. I think there was a miscommunication because I didn't explain it well, um, that we needed to send in some stuff to the graduate school, but we were able to get that all sorted out less than a week before I was supposed to do my qualifying exam. Uh, yeah, that was a little stressful. Um, but then I ended up with my qualifying exam, having it March 31st is almost April 1st, which would have been funny, but also really stressful. Um, also, I couldn't do my joke about like, if I'd had it on April 1st, I would have started off with like some like presentation about Russia and Poland or Ukraine. Uh, not because of the stuff in the Ukraine, and uh, not the stuff in Ukraine right now, but because if my mother had gone for her master's in history, which is what she really would have wanted, that would have been a focus of hers, was on um, some of the uh, the Soviet influence in Ukraine. And so uh, that was kind of my thought process. I could just have her do it and then be like, ah, joke. Yeah, uh, that would have been really politically insensitive. Um, does I take a huge slurping like, mm. Of course, I did not do that. Uh, but the qualifying exam was very stressful. It was about, I had two hours in this room with four professors, my advisor, effectively my co-advisor, because I we work with him so closely uh, to the point where I, like these two professors are always working together. A third professor in our department who I've worked, 
we've worked with a bit. He's kind of on the new side. And then a professor in the chemistry department who does the same, uses the same FASP uh, software that I use. Um, so I have kind of the technical as well as the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, both technical in terms of software and, and like procedure as well as technical in the materials field. Cause that professor, the young professor also works in the same kind of material sphere that I do. I'm just gonna do my eyeliner real quickly. I can't talk for that though. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, besides that, that's so the qualifying exam, two hours in this room. It's supposed to be only a 40 minute presentation. Um, there was questions in the middle of my presentation, so that prolonged it a good chunk. Um, and then the questioning went on for probably more than 20 Well, we'll figure out where I am later on because my uh, phone just stopped recording at some point. Uh, I was talking about the questioning. I was talking about um, the questioning went on pretty long, uh, both in the presentation as well as outside of it, involving dendritic formation. Also, I just put on my concealer, or not concealer, foundation, which was the ColourPop pretty fat fresh. I know the color is a little bit off. I should really remember to put on more sunscreen, <laughs> but it matches my neck. So that's all that cares. Um, but yeah, I think I got on a tangent about one of the professors because everybody seems to know him. Uh, and he's effectively like my co-advisor. But so I, but I did finish my qualifying and I passed and I got the dad joke of congratulations or I'm sorry, now you're going to have to write a dissertation. Um, so I was just happy to be done with that stressful moment. Then I went as kind of a treat to myself later on, because I was just kind of like emotionally burned out by that point. Later that month after like late April, I ended up driving up to Chicago to visit a friend. Word of advice, if you live in Kentucky, just fly up there. It's a lot easier and you can get enough flights. Airports around here are very few and far between, but you can get a flight even from Lexington to Chicago, so just do it. The six hours are not worth it because you have to drive through Indiana. I was able to go up there, visit Mia, who you have seen previously on my uh, channel. Uh, she lives up in the Chicago area and we got to explore Chicago. What was stressful on that trip was my uh, debit card got compromised. So I am at the uh, Museum of Science and Industry freaking out because while well, I do have other forms of, of like tender, I was like, oh my gosh, it, it's stressful when you're traveling. And my problem was, even though I have a bank in like the Chicago area there, I was mentally thinking I'm still in Kentucky because makes sense. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so far away. And I'm like, wait a second. Mm. I could go to a different bank, but whoops. <sighs> or go to a different branch in the bank. I was like, whoops. Uh, yeah, also, I got some eyeliner at the very top, but I'll fix it later. So that was, that trip was just generally fun. I was able to spend it with Mia. We're really close, so we have very similar, not similar personalities, but similar ways of living. Uh, besides that, May, I ended up going to, uh, oh, also at the end of April, I ended up making friends with my next door neighbor and one of my other neighbors. They moved not long after, uh, but we still hang out. And it was by pure fluke uh, because I just, I was literally had just driven back from Chicago. It was like 80 degrees in Kentucky and they hadn't turned on the air in the apartment, it was still on heating. So I came into my apartment and whomp, I'm hit with like 85 degree um, air. And my neighbor is sitting outside eating like spaghetti because he's like, yeah, I made it. And uh, it's too hot to eat inside. So he's eating outside. We share a Moscow mule and just like hang out and chat. And it was great. And it turns out we're from, we know some of the same people because we're from the same area in California. Just pure fluke there. We met his, one of his other friends who he works with and they kind of introduced me to this whole other community that's in the uh, forestry department mostly at UK and they are amazing and I was so happy to have made friends with them. They usually go to this bar um, on Friday nights. I didn't go this week. I also because of like I wanted to go to a different event but I'm probably gonna try to make it like at least one more time before Christmas. Uh, in May I ended up going to finally go 
to Minnesota for my commencement. As you guys saw, my commencement got canceled back in 2020, but they held a commencement for all the uh, students from 20, winter of 2019 to uh, spring of 2022. And it was amazing to go. And I just was, I got to spend it with family. We got, I got to finally walk. Um, I also ended up talking with an old professor because he does similar research to what I do. I asked him some questions because of how weird the material I work with is. Um, then, and but it was good to be back in Minnesota. I got to see old friends and I just felt happy. In June, didn't actually do much in June. I was stressed because of the prequels for the other kids. But that was a bit about it. It was a pretty not stressful except for some family stuff that don't need to get into. And then July, uh, I, no, July I think also was pretty darn quiet for me. Get to August, first weekend of August, I ended up going to Chattanooga with Maggie, who again you saw in previous videos, um, cause we decided, yeah, let's go to Chattanooga together. Um, Chattanooga, Tennessee, I was wanting to live out my 1940s, like, Glenn Miller vibe, because there is the song Chattanooga Choo Choo by Glenn Miller. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. And while it's not exactly in between for the two of us, it was still fun. I got to meet her boyfriend and we got to go to like the Chattanooga, uh, the Tennessee Aquarium. We got to go to the ten uh, Tennessee Whiskey Experience. It was great. Um, oh, also this was just the Milani uh, in the gold. Immediately after getting back from Chattanooga, like I didn't even sleep in my apartment that night. I ended up going to the Louisville to, Louisville to go to the mute. See, uh, airport. I flew out the next morning at like 5.45 in the morning to go back home because my sister was coming back from deployment. So, and I wanted to be there for that. So that was kind of a big thing. I got there kind of early because I didn't want to like lose, uh, miss a flight or have flights get canceled. So that was my, I got there like, I got there on a Monday, her ship didn't get in until Thursday. Uh, what was also fun is I was able to visit an old roommate, Sophia, because she now lives in California, as well as one of my friends here who ended up moving out to California for work. Um, that was also fun just to spend time with them, get to see friends from high school. It was all over the place. And then lastly, I was able to see my sister as she came back from deployment. That was all within a couple of, that was all in August. Um, August had even more crazy things happen. I'm trying to find my blush. Cause I know I had a blush out here. This place is a mess. I need to organize it. Okay, last little bit before I fully run out of storage. I'm just gonna put on some ColourPop blush. And yeah, got to see my sh sister ship come in and that's pretty much up to mid August. Um, Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on, I think this looks good, uh, the Pillow Talk in Extreme for lipstick. So I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm gonna need to touch this up, but not bad. So this is the final look. I think it's pretty good. I need to clean up this just a tiny bit on the highlight, but I don't think it's too bad. Maybe a little streaky, but whatever. Um, so yeah, sorry that last little bit, like my phone was running out of storage. So that's why I think it's got a little choppy, but I have fun, I'll have fun editing. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more Vlogmas content.